Hello and welcome as it is the 6th day of February 2018. I'm in a very difficult situation and it's a good difficult one to have, but it's not easy for me. I want to buy a lot more of these Litecoin. I remember many a weeks ago, Jay Snip Ford talking about how he is more than very aggressive into such. I think he talked about something like having 80 or 90% of his portfolio in it. And I was thinking, man, that's really aggressive for me. At that point, I'm like, 40%, man, that's big for me. And now I'm at 50%. But I want to go much higher than that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why. I'm going to talk about Litecoin as its use of money, how I've been using it as money. Do I really need to have many Bitcoin? Why do I want Bitcoin? Well, the answer is easy. It's money. I use it to buy things. It's also a trading vehicle. And it still is. I go long and... Uh, go long and sell other things with Bitcoin to increase my crypto portfolio. Okay, I had a Litecoin exchange I was using with Cryptopia earlier last year or for about a five, six week period, but they closed that exchange. So if I want to trade uh, alternate coins, yeah, it's best for me to do it with BTC. Now, my the, re the way I look at buying stuff with cryptos, this is how I look at it as. As far let's just get rid of these drawings. When the market's in an uptrend, I uh, I want to buy things. I want to sell my cryptos. I want to profit take a bit. Part of using my tail risk, buy precious metals. Buy things that I need decent amount of time from now. It made it easy to buy Christmas gifts when the rally was going good in early December. It really made it easy to buy it. I basically bought them at about the... All oh, these two big green candles higher. That's when I bought my Christmas gifts mainly. And it makes it easy to do for such. But when it's in a downtrend, do you really want to sell your cryptos for things? Well, for me, I don't want to buy precious metals with it when it's at that price. I just want to buy what I need. However, I actually did use it as money hours ago. Now, for those in Canada, what I do is I go to silvergoldbull.ca to buy precious metals, but that's not what I bought earlier today. And coincards.ca to buy gift cards to major Canadian store outlets. Now, they are not advertising for me. And the reason I am saying this is because I really enjoy using them within my video game of life, cryptocurrencies, for real life things like buying food, putting groceries on the table. And I bought grocery gift cards, can, uh, well, Canadian Tire, as any Canadian person would know, and a night out at Boston Pizza with my cryptos. Now, when I've been doing this, it's pretty much always been the same. I buy with Bitcoin. Now, before, what I would do is I used Coinbase as my main wallet. I'd buy things from there. But then I got a hardware wallet in the summer. Coinbase is now no use of, to me. I use my Trezor wallet to hold Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash, and ZEC. And I'd always buy with Bitcoin. It's about the same... With whether it's either of those two merchants, I would pay them with Bitcoin. I'd pay the high fee. Of course, they got higher and higher along the way. And I'd wait about six, seven, eight minutes from the time when I did my transaction, maybe four or three minutes, for the time when they said the payment was ex confirmed, that, they, that it arrived. It would normally take that long, five minutes. So when a few weeks go by, and I see that on silvergoldbull.ca, and I noticed it for a while that they accept Litecoin. There were several reasons I wanted to buy precious metals. I could list off 20 of them, including one to say hi to the delivery guy because, well, you, they come to your door. You get to know them a little bit when you buy more often. So therefore, I decided to buy, and I bought with Litecoin. So instead of waiting that five minutes or so, I waited about five or ten seconds from the time I pushed my last confirm button on my hardware Trezor wallet, the check mark came. And then it cost me like three cents then. Same thing today with coincards.ca. I paid with Litecoin. 
from the last time I pushed the button, maybe 10 to 13 seconds passes, there's a confirmation costing me two cents to do of like of Litecoin worth to do the confirmation. But I don't want to get rid of Litecoin. No way, no how, not even maybe. Well, this was easy that after I finished my transaction, I copied and pasted what I bought it for, which is around three and a third Litecoin, spending a few hundred bucks, and then copying that amount into an exchange, and I bought that Litecoin back. So I have exactly the same amount of Litecoin now than I did five hours ago. Exactly the same. But means to the end, I bought that with Bitcoin, I didn't pay the Bitcoin transaction fee. I used the Litecoin transaction fee because it was cheaper. I had the speed of the Litecoin. Now, it seems to me as if Litecoin is becoming more and more easily accepted. I've been saying for a long time, it's a better coin. Much, much, much better coin. But this technical analysis pattern is driving me nuts. It really, really is driving me nuts. And I say that because, well, Jason F4 weeks ago talked about, oh, I'm, I'm like over diversified in it. I got way too much. I think he mentioned something maybe at 80 or 90%, at least on one per on that particular day, it was that high of an allocation towards his portfolio. Man, that is sky high. I mentioned yesterday I'm at 50%. But this sideways range that it's had since its December highs, two months of going sideways, to me is becoming extremely epically good. Now we have about four or so days how it's just grindingly higher these gains. But when I look at this further, this is really, really amazing when we look at this on, say, a three-day chart, but even more so, let's go back and see how this 0.02 number is in play. When it came to it in 2015, it was a major level of resistance and it fell much, much lower. It then came to it last year in May, had a very hard, a weekly chart is what I looked at it before. So that was, I'm a little off because I was, when I was looking at my analysis, how I was going to do a video, I was looking at this chart. So on the weekly chart, it came down, did this symmetrical triangle, broke down. And then in here, after this 0.02 top, three weeks down to the 0.01 handle. Then, it goes back up again in July. And then in about four weeks, four to five weeks, it takes to go down. So a little slower, but it manages to have that big move lower. And then it has a decent rally, but not as good. It only makes it to current price action at about 0.0818 change. Then it doesn't hold the big one handle. Thus, what I'm looking at is the double failed move, fast move. This is the double part here. That has huge major expectations, I think. We'll see, but this is like stoking me, the uh, pattern in which I'm looking at this from. When this market came higher originally, it only got filled. Well, this It only gap filled from here to here just that little bit, as we can see. And the failed move part gap filled quickly. Price action comes up to this point and just, well now, as I mentioned before, every single time it came to point oh two, it fell down pretty hard. Now it has went sideways for several weeks like this. Man, this thing, it looks ready to go huge. The reason why this is difficult for me is I don't need Bitcoin as money. I only need it as a, tr as a trading vehicle now to buy other altcoins. And if I can get a reliable Litecoin-based market exchange, I won't even need Bitcoin for that. So I'm at the point where I'm like, 
well, I already told, said before, like 50% Litecoin, like well over 30% uh, Bitcoin and the rest in alt. So I just want to take a large majority of my Bitcoin, maybe half of it even, and then turn it into LTC. Or maybe take half of my Bitcoin, turn a quarter of the Bitcoin into Litecoin, a quarter of my Bitcoin into altcoins, and then half of it remaining in Bitcoin. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I mean, I would be stoked if this thing were to go much higher. Now, let's talk about the web bot a little bit. I bought the last report late December 2017, and in regards to Litecoin, it was not too specific. It was very brief, and it pretty much finished off by stating, like, quote, unquote, Litecoin's going to have a very good year. And I don't know if this is through talks with uh, JSNIP4 or if this is what was posted on Twitter. But most likely done in much later research post December 25th last year, that the price of Litecoin is going to go to one fifth the price of Bitcoin. I mean, wow, that would be point oh, no, not point oh, it'd be point two. It would be an 11x gain against the Bitcoin from that point. And Bitcoin's projected once it breaks past 20,000. And, I'm, and this is what it stated. JSTIP4 quoted this as well. Although there's one word he didn't quote that I will. That when it breaks 20,000, it being Bitcoin, that it will not see those levels again for years. That tells you two different things. That tells you, one, that the market's going to go and it's going to go for a long ways. It also tells you that if it doesn't go back for years, that it's got to go at least to around 100,000. For if it only came to about 50,000 or 60, it probably would go back to 20. Although I suppose it could go in a range of like 30 to 70,000 for a couple years. I don't think so. But that also tells you that it's probably going to go back to certain levels. So the way I look at it is I wouldn't be surprised if maybe sometime in the 20s, Bitcoin and maybe other coins, even Litecoin itself, might have a huge crash, but I don't care about that for now. I'm looking for the upcoming time, not the much later point. Because there can be a lot of big purchases for me when I have hundreds of Litecoin in my portfolio. So this would be an interesting thing if I were to increase it because... Bullishly speaking, this pattern's amazing. I don't need Litecoin for money like I did before. Or I don't need Bitcoin for it. I, need, I can use it for Litecoin. I'm, I'm going to think about it for a little while. I, the reason why I don't want to is because I'm kind of scared that if I don't do it now, the thing's just going to break out and I'd have to spend higher prices and it'd be like, oh, I wanted to buy a bunch more Litecoin. And the price was 0 0.0184. And I'll be looking at it later at 0 0.033 or some higher number where I wouldn't be able to get as many with the Bitcoin. But I'm already in a position which some might stay, say I'm already overexposed. But let's let's get real here for a, a second about diversification. Oh, you need to have a bit of Litecoin, a bit of Dash, a bit of Ether, a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of whatever. I almost want to call the BS flag on that because they go up together, they go down together. How many people holding several different coins? Notice that from December into January, their portfolio took a huge slide after it took a huge rise in the month of December and November. Well, that is because of how the markets go up and down together. So that's pursuing me or, or giving me, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To sweeten the pot. That's what I was looking for. A reason to buy more Litecoin. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.